Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be talking about the common blue screen error that happens randomly when you are booting the system or maybe when you are working something like the processor gets to the maximum of its usage and so on. Basically, the blue screen errors has several types of error based on the code type that you get. Uh, in this video, I'm not talking about the uh, inaccessible boot to a device or a critical process died or maybe like memory management, those types. I'm focusing on video DXJKRNL fatal error that you will get most probably during the working time. When you are working and your system is working, everything is going well, just immediately blue screen comes to your system comes to you in front of you and the system will be shut down after uh, several minutes. Most probably the problem is because of the display adapter that you have for your device is not compatible with your device. For that reason the first solution should be going to the Windows Computer Management Inside the computer management, we have to go to the device manager and in here we have display adapter, okay? In my device, we have two display adapters, okay? Maybe yours is one or more than one or more than two even. Because of that, we have to uninstall all of them, okay? Especially the graphic that you have. For uninstalling, you have to right click on them and go to the uninstall device that you have, okay? So click uninstall and uninstall it. Okay, after resetting, it's so uninstall. Sometimes the screen color may change, it doesn't matter. Go on and uninstall this one also till you uninstall all of them and you cannot see display adapters here they are gone after that come here again right click scan for hardware change you can see after clicking the hardware change the display adapters came back okay so this one is needed display adapter based on your device right click on it update driver Make sure that you have the search automatically for drivers and you should make sure that you have the best drivers for your device. This is the first solution. The second solution which I get and I face it to was that my device is Dell XPS and it is not compatible with Windows 11. But I wanted to use the Windows 11 on it so I bypass it the Windows 11 to use it on my computer and after installing the Windows 11 to my device I have to go to the Dell website to get the drivers compatible drivers for my system for that we have to go to any browser that you may have okay so you should write down detect my device for the Dell or maybe you have another device so based on your device maybe Lenovo or any other kind, type of a computer branch that you have it depends on your branch so you have to search for your company your branch that you have so you have to search for your computer brand detect website which is support website so you can see that in this website for the Dell uh, it will detect your device which is XPS 15 okay when you click on it you can download all the drivers and install them based on your device it will detect your device it will tell you which drivers is needed for your device but if you can see here there is a warning it will tell us that the Microsoft requirements for Windows 11 are not supported on this device so it will tell us that you are using the Windows 11 but it's not compatible it's not supported for this device and the problems happens here 
which is it will recommend you the Windows 10 drivers and most probably the display will be the same for Windows 10 but you are using the Windows 11 most of the times your drivers for display adapter will not be compatible from Windows 10 to Windows 11 so the second solution will be downgrading from those systems that you bypass it maybe or they are not compatible with your device this will be the second solution which was my problem in the computer I downgraded from Windows 11 to Windows 10 and the problem solved that's all thank you very much